This is controversial. This is really, really controversial, actually. Uh, I There's a book called The Blackmail Diet. Like blackmailing yourself, not a black man. Uh, which I did have someone ask me. <laughs> I was like, no, no, different different kind of book. Um, but it's called The Blackmail Diet. Um, I still have it on my shelf behind me. Um, and essentially what it is, is you find a way to blackmail yourself into getting the results that you want or need to get. So you might be thinking, Andrew, how do I do that? And I'm so glad you what is a significant amount of money to you just think of whatever that number is you know it maybe it's maybe it's 100 bucks maybe it's 500 maybe it's 5000 whatever whatever a significant number of money is to you you take that money and then you pick your goal. It has to be clear. It has to be measurable. Such as, I'm going to lose 10 pounds in the first eight weeks of the year. So two months, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. Okay? Very, very manageable, by the way. <clears throat> and then, the example that's used in this book, you find something that you absolutely hate. The example used in this book is the American Nazi Party. And this guy put... I believe it was $5,000 in a trust that would be donated to the American Nazi Party if he did not lose 70 pounds in one year. Obviously, he, or maybe not so obviously because there's a lot of people who are still like, oh, I would still probably fail this. But he didn't because he abhorred that possibility so much. I have used this with one client very successfully. One client kind of successfully in the sense that it gave him clarity around himself and I'm currently using it for myself again based around uh, a government loan that I got that I want to get paid off and uh, it's not to the American Nazi party but I am basically financially blackmailing myself to get this paid off uh, otherwise it's going to cost me a lot more in the long run right <clears throat> I used this with one client who lost just like the book 70 pounds I used this with another client who quickly realized that he just wasn't that dedicated. He hadn't found something that was important enough for him to actually do this. And in his case, I could, I could sense the hesitation. I think it was like 50 bucks or 100 bucks with him, so I could tell that he was basically prepared to fail. Most people can afford to lose 50, 200 bucks, which is why it's important to pick an outrageous amount. But because of that, the day that he, you know, failed failed to hit that goal because of improperly blackmailing himself, not putting enough um, at stake. When it finally came to it, he actually sat down with me, gave me the money, and he said, um, "I'm not actually motivated enough to do this yet, so I need to step away from this until things change." And I was just like, "Okay," but ask yourself this: What is a significant amount of money to you? Is it five hundred dollars? Take that five hundred bucks. And if you're not prepared to like put it into a trust to go somewhere, talk to a friend and say, hey, here's this money. Or talk to a financial advisor. Hey, here's this money. Here's what you have to do with it. And if it's enough money, I promise you, you will figure it out. You will hit that goal. In, in, the, in my case, This, uh, if, if I fail this goal, it's going to cost me $30,000. So uh, you better believe that I'm going to figure it out. Because I cannot afford to lose that much money. So it's got to be a big enough one. Hey guys, for the first time in my entire life, I only have a mustache. I hope you still subscribe. <laughs> Whether you're looking at this on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or somewhere else, go find me on Instagram at Andrew PFM uh, or Pride Fitness and Movement or go find me on TikTok. I post some really unacceptably obscene shit on there, but I hope you still follow me anyway. So we'll see you guys later.